Hey Pisces, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for April 2021. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the rest of the month, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Uh, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you are not already. Um, I do post additional reads over there. I do um, live readings three times a week, and then I also do... Um, pick a cards <laughs> and I do some different kind of stuff over there okay so definitely check it out <clears throat> if you're interested um, I'm gonna kind of look at general messages but um, I do want to kind of touch on both um, love and career money um, so we'll kind of get some messages for both here okay so we have between worlds that came out here some of you are starting um, or about to step into your abundance here is what I want to say What's going on for Pisces? Mid-April. What do we got going on, Spirit, for Pisces? We have the Hanged Man. The World. Nine of Wands. Page of Swords. The High Priestess. The Four of Swords. Ace of Coins. The Sun. The Four of Coins. Nice. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. You guys are doing a lot of um a lot of healing work. I feel like it's taking you a while to kind of like end out a, like end a cycle. But I also feel like you're learning a lot about yourself. Um you like you've kind of been in this like I think that's what this between worlds is. It's like you've been in this cycle for a long time. I feel like you're coming to the end of it. You're coming to the close of it with this 9 of wands here. Um, some of you, it's like, it can be love related. We have the Queen of Cups here. So I do feel like your intuition is really strong with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups here. We have the Hanged Man, which is also um, intuitive. Um, so I feel like you guys are, your intuition is really strong right now. And you're really in your own energy, which is great to see. Um, I feel like a lot of good things are coming out of this. There is a new opportunity that's going to be coming in towards you. But I think a lot of you are doing some self-reflection here with the Page of Swords, Four of Swords. So again, the recent past year, we have the Hanged Man, the World, and then the Nine of Wands. It's like things have kind of been on delay where there's some sort of delay in closing out a cycle here. It's like you're almost there, but not quite in the recent past year. So you might still kind of feel like you're in that energy possibly. Because I feel like it kind of continues here with the Page of Swords, High Priestess, and the Four of Swords. I feel like it continues, but it's like you're less in the struggle. It's like you're kind of almost just in this place of you're really tapped into your intuition, but you're also very, um, like some of you may be doing a lot of like self-care things or like meditation, like something to kind of like really clear your mind. Because I feel like your mind is very clear at this moment or will be. In the near future here, we have the Ace of Coins, the Sun, and the Four of Coins. So there's a new opportunity for sure. I feel like it could make you really happy, but also a lot of abundance. I feel like it's going to bring some stability into your life. Um, so we'll kind of see if it's financially related or if it is um, love related. So I want to see what this world is because I feel like this is the cycle here. What's the world in the recent past here for Pisces? seven of swords so yeah it's like you've been holding back from closing out the cycle almost or there could have been you know lies deception letting people betray you king of wands could have been a person here give me one more here on the world for pisces give me one more on the world please six of swords yeah you guys are Moving away from someone starting to put down the burden, I feel like it possibly could have been a person who kind of like a little bit of lies and deception. Yeah, five of wands, seven of cups. They could have had a lot of options that maybe they didn't tell you about. Um, they got a lot of attention, I feel, from other people and you're kind of done with that. But it's taking you a little while to kind of move on from this. Um, what's this page of swords? Because you may have someone kind of watching you a little bit. Two of coins, temperance. No, not that you don't. Maybe you do, but I feel like this for a lot of you is, is your energy. Like the page of swords is you reflecting on like, you know, where do I need to balance out my life, right? 
the two of coins here she looks like she's struggling like she's got a lot on her plate but the temperance here looks like okay if she's got it all under control you know she may have her everything all over the place but she knows what's going on and she feels more calm cool and collected right um I feel like some of you also might be something that you need to remove yourself from, but there's definitely good things coming out of you. Um, again, like abundance coming out of this place of like finding balance in your life. What's this Ace of Coins? We have the Seven of Wands. The Hierophant. Tell me more about this Ace of Coins. The emperor okay um you have someone who's going to offer you a legitimate offer here especially with the hierophant ace of pentacles is or the ace of coins is like a sturdy stable offer and i feel like this person whoever this person is i feel like they want to fight for you with that seven of wands like i feel like they're they're willing to um they want to defend you they want to they want to I don't know it's like they, they just want to fight for you and they're willing to do what it takes um for this commitment here tell me about this emperor ace of wands a lot of passion here oops king of coins i feel like they're very stable financially yeah it's definitely a soulmate here you might not see this person coming in i feel like they're going to make you really happy what's this four of coins I also feel like you guys will have a very s stable uh, material world with this person. Like, I feel like, yeah, if there's any sort of like lingering sadness that you're still going through, I feel like you're going to, now some of you might be closed off to this person because you do still have something from the past that you're working through with the five of cups and the three of swords judgment. Yeah. Something from the past. Now this person could also be from the past. Is this person from the past spirit for Pisces? Is this person from the past? Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Coins. Give me one more here, spirit. Is this person from the past? Magician, Seven of Coins. Three of coins. I feel like you know who they are. It could have it could be somebody from the past. If it's not, I feel like it's somebody who's been waiting for their opportunity. Or you've manifested this person into your life somehow. Clarify this um three of swords, five of cups. What's this three of swords, five of cups? strength so you need to i think some of you are overcoming this you're walking away from this type of an energy some of you are walking away from possibly a different person this person could also help you kind of get over this eight of coins you're putting in the work to kind of like work through this energy i feel like it's from a past relationship i don't feel i feel like this emperor is a new person because we have two aces attached to them What's the love advice here for Pisces for the rest of the month? What's the love advice here for Pisces? Whoa. Okay, so we have relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the, the need for change. So some of you are moving towards, and that's this strength energy, needing to move past this past energy of, of, what, of what's keeping you stuck. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Then we have turn your heart light. Turn on your heart light. Reflect on time when you have experienced love. And then we have ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So I feel like you need to be open, but I also feel like um, it's like opening your heart. If you need help to figure out how to do that, I feel like you need to like, <laughs> I want to say ask an elder um, or ask maybe like a parent or a friend for advice. Um, I feel like you're recognizing that you need to move in a new direction here when it comes to love but there's also something about finding your strength because we have looked to your inner strength you are stronger than you realize so you can get over this past hurt that i think you've been through i think you've done a lot of um reflection so i feel like that's what's helping you and there is i feel like because you've 
manifested and you're in this higher vibration, it's allowing this person to come in. It's just that almost like when they do come in, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> so let's see what's going on for Pisces in their um, career and finances. Okay, so we have Surrender, 12th house. We have Complexity. We have Mystic, the Pisces, or sorry, Pisces, the Mystic. We have Sagittarius, the Voyager. And then we have Semi-Sextile, Allowing at the bottom of the deck here. Some of you need to, when it comes to your finances and your career, you need to release the need to control something. Um, you need to dream a little bigger. Um, also, maybe take a risk or like travel or do something different here with this Sagittarius energy. Um, I feel like some of you feel also as well with the 12th house and Pisces, those are the same, um, which is you guys, you could be kind of escaping the complexity of something, especially with the, um, the Sagittarius energy, you could be kind of like, I don't know, escaping <laughs> something <laughs> with regards to you need to allow something to happen. What's this complexity? We have mystery and eighth house. So the numinous. Some of, some of you, it's like, um, there's definitely something spiritual possibly about your business, but, um, or your career or something like that. But, um, like some of you maybe need to listen to your intuition when it comes to your career, but I'm also getting there's a lot of change that could be happening and it's like you don't really know where it's going. You just need to you just need to release the control. Dreams. Again, dreaming big. We have a lot of Pisces energy here. Some of you I just feel like you're trying to escape a situation instead of trying instead of just like letting it be, letting it flow. Let's get one more. What's this Sag? The innovator. So maybe some of you need to move in a new direction but you're resisting it because it feels hard or it's challenging or it means something has to end. You could be doing something like maybe starting a new, I don't know, a group, new community. You also might have to do some research of what you need, what you want to create. There might be something new you're kind of focused on and that's what you're doing to escape uh, the current situation because you don't really, I don't feel like you really like where your current career is going or your current um, business is going. So, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Like I said, it's going to be kind of a shorter message. Actually, I don't know if I said that to you guys, but it is going to be a shorter message um, just because it's only a few weeks and then I'll do some longer readings for May. Okay. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it resonated for you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.